Hi Hoopers, so today we're going to go over how to make an LED PolyPro hoop. And the main difference is that we're not using any kind of a battery holder and since the tubing is smaller we're going to be able to use just the tubing itself to hold the battery. Uh, the main parts are this negative terminal. It's a little piece of wood with a spring attached to it that we've affixed with a rivet. The battery itself. The connector when it's all the way pushed together the light switch connects to the battery and it comes on when we pull it back one notch like so it allows us to keep the battery in but have it turned off that's effectively our on off switch and then of course the other end of the connector with another rivet and now we're going to go over these steps if you have not seen my other video tutorial on how to make an LED hoop. We do skip over some of the basic steps a lot and we're only focusing on the main differences which are the connector. Here in this step where we attach the LEDs to the speaker wire I've had to change the way that I laid them out so that they fit down the smaller polypro tubing. I'm going to take the anode, the longer one, and bend it back just about halfway, not quite. Wrap the red speaker wire around it and then finish it off just like I would before, keeping it in a straight line and then do the same thing with the cathode. And bend it over. Now instead of taking two pieces of tape like I was doing before, I'm only going to be doing that with one. So you can see there's a separation. Put the piece of tape between the two, seal off one side really good, and squeeze it down. Spin that around. I'll go over this a couple more times just to give you a good demonstration. And there you have a little LED burrito. Moving down the line, we're going to do the same thing again. Take the anode, bend it, wrap it. Squeeze it. Repeat that. And then tape it. Here we have our LED string all finished up and bubble wrapped ready to be fished down the polypro tubing. I'm going to test it one more time and make sure that the lights are all still together and everything lights up. Connect the battery. Alright. Looks good. There we go. Alright, now the time to put this stuff into the tubing. Okay, at this step, we've already fished the LED wire down the tubing, and if you need to, you should go back and review my original video on how to make an LED hoop, and it'll discuss how to do that in detail. So now we're going to drill the two holes we needed to make the connector and the off switch for the connector. You want to make the holes one inch back and one half inch back and I'm using one quarter inch connectors you can also use the smaller kind too but these were easier to find for me okay. 
Okay. So we've made the two hole connectors. And what that'll do is serve as the on off switch. So when we get everything assembled, when you connect it all together firmly, this will be on and this will be off to hold the battery in. This step is probably one of the most complicated parts of making a polypro hoop. It involves creating a terminal for the negative lead on the battery. Uh, what we do is we take a dowel you get from the hardware store, a 5 8 inch hardwood dowel, and you want to mark off every half inch and cut these little plugs about like so. And generally when you cut them up, they're going to have some fray at the ends of it. I use this grinder and grind each one so that the edges are nice and soft. And then in addition to that, I grind a notch into the edge of each one of these, as you can see here. And that allows for the wire to cross underneath without being pinched inside the tubing. Um, after I've created these little plugs, drill a hole, a tap hole, and then take these springs and screw them right into it. If you don't have these springs, which most people don't, and you're only making one hoop, I'd recommend going to your junk drawer, finding an old remote control or something that takes AA batteries, and pull the spring out of it, and you can use that. Otherwise, if you plan on making a lot of these, they're available on eBay for like $5 for 50 of them. Um, that's the smallest quantity I was able to buy. So if you want to make a few of them, you can get those. Or if you just want to make one and spend 5 bucks. Now we're ready to assemble the negative terminal for the battery. We've got our spring connector here. And I've stripped back the wire a little bit to allow this to be wrapped around and we're just going to let the tension of the spring and the screw hold it in take it all the way around give it a twist and then lay it back there on that little groove and then we're going to take this hot glue which, since we only use it one time, we just need to heat it up a little bit and then rub it across there. Get it really good. Yeah, right. Let me get it in there. Okay. Once that's dried up, it's not going to go anywhere once it's inside anyway. I just want to make sure that it has a nice connection. So we'll take the positive and just touch it to the spring. And we got a good connection. Now we're ready to assemble the positive. Next we're going to drill the hole into the coupler and again we're just going to put this one about a half an inch back. And we don't need to worry about exact placement because we'll figure that out when we set up the last connector which is the rivet. In order to get the positive wire connected to this push button connector we're gonna have to drill a hole at the bottom of it right here. Now, this gets really hot when you're drilling so you want to use a pair of pliers or something and I usually drill it right into the wood here on my board Feed the positive wire through that hole 
give it a couple of wraps and we'll use some hot glue again and I'll demonstrate that in this next section. When you're assembling the positive lead here it's important to remember you have to put the coupler in first and it doesn't even matter how far back you slide it just so long that you can get access to this part and then from here feed that in draw it back give it a couple of twists We'll do the same thing with this one. Give it a good melt. And then we'll just let that dry on its own. And then test the connector with the battery one more time. So now we've got our negative in right here. We'll just slide it right back in here just a little bit, make it easier. And then all we got to do is touch it to the other one. And if it lights up, we're good as gold. Now that our connector has dried, it's time to put the connector into the coupler so that it's sticking out just a little bit. And that's where we're going to make contact with our battery. And then kind of coil it up so that it folds in really easy. and then feed in the coupler about halfway. Okay, a little bit more. We're not too concerned because we're gonna make that flush before we finish this anyway. Okay, that's pretty good. Next, we're going to take this wire side, face it down so that we can eventually fix this with a rivet on the top part and start feeding it back into there. And I've got this piece of half inch tubing that I usually use to feed it back. It's, uh, not an exact science and takes a few trials. What you got to do is you got to get this back the distance of the battery plus the connector as far as it goes out. So this battery will touch to here and so we're going to try and aim for somewhere around back here. When it gets close we're going to take the battery and actually put it inside and make the connection work just barely and then fix it in with a rivet so that it stays. You gotta be really careful not to go too far because if you go too far you're gonna end up with a shorter smaller polypro LED because you're gonna have to cut that part out and make it a little bit smaller. I've done that. So we're not even close right now. It's gotta go back at least another inch. Try pushing this back here. Okay, it's probably still not quite enough. I just want to see how far we have to go. It wasn't that convenient. Okay, 
push it back a little bit more. That's not going to work because that'll be the off position. Okay, let's give it a shot. Again, this is not an exact science. It's going to take a little bit of trial and error and not going too far. so close. There we go. All right. So, two things we're going to do now. We've got it in just enough so that it's completely squeezed and the connector is connected to the second one in and this is flush. So now we drill two holes, one hole here, one hole here and attach our two rivets. And now we're going to be doing the two rivets for the final part of the connector assembly. And we want to do the side with the plug here first on the negative terminal. And then that way we can make the other end with the coupler as flush as possible and make it nice and tight. So I've taken and drawn a little dot on top. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. But that just is a guide so that I know where I'm drilling straight up and down. So we're going to take, I'm using a, an eighth inch rivet, so I'm making an eighth inch hole. Yeah, that'll happen. There we go. Now you don't want to drill too far down, just deep enough to get the rivet. So now I've got the rivet and I'm just about to pull it out, rivet it in, whichever, one more pop should do it. Okay, so now I've got the rivet right here and that's going to hold that negative terminal in just like so. Now we're ready to assemble the coupler. I'm going to push it all the way in, make it connected. Okay. Now it's in the hole and tight together as much as possible. Now it's time to drill this hole so that we can finish it off. Again, we're just going to do it right on top. Holes, and there we go. Now we've got a completed PolyPro LED hoop. To power it off, just pull it back one notch, and it keeps the spring loose, battery in there. And I recommend at this point sanding your hoop. Um, when you sand in the PolyPro, um, it's going to create kind of a, a fog effect and diffuses the light much better and gives you an all-over glow instead of this piercing 
spot in the middle. And we'll give you a little demonstration here in just a second. You might think that I'm kind of crazy, but baby, I'm a superstar. And that's just the way it is, because I'm hungry. I must control my own destiny. No one can do anything for me. No one. 